it's just Creeper, and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II tank tutorial. And today we are doing the Panzer Kampfwagen 8 Mouse. This was a designed German super heavy tank, only one was ever made that was short lived. A chassis was made of a second one, uh, but um, unfortunately the, uh, the tank didn't perform as the Germans would have hoped, so they didn't have necessarily enough materials to make a whole lot of well, didn't necessarily mass produce it, and it was just generally outclassed. You can't run with something this large, especially in a time where bombers were always in the skies, and you know, it's it was just, it would have been a bad move to even have the tank out there to begin with. But um, I'm fairly um, satisfied with the overall outcome of the vehicle. I think. I uh, did a good enough job replic replicating it in here. I tried my best to put the accurate amount of wheels, except I only got the outer and inner, um, <clears throat> like the outer and midway wheels. But if I'm correct, I think there was a third row of road wheels on the inside of the tracks. But yeah, it's actually hard to see them anyway. So you have you have only two rows of them, so you're gonna have to work with those. But for the most part, there's an accurate wheel count to the naked eye. Um, the inside of the vehicle, there is, there's an interior for the frontal area and for the main uh, part of the tank. So this tank is complete with a in, uh, interior. I copied the interior from the layout that War Thunder provides you with. Whether that is the correct layout or not, I'm not too familiar. I cannot. I haven't really looked too much into what the interior of the mask necessarily would have looked like, because when I look at War Thunder's layout and then War Gaming's layout, um, it, it's a very different. It, it's it's different the layout of the crew. <clears throat> like in the War Thunder version, the commander will be a little bit lower down in the back of the tank, but I don't necessarily know what the accurate layout is. But I'm gonna stop lingering on because I do have a chest cold and I am going to probably start coughing a lot. So that's probably why I'm gonna try not to linger on too many subjects as to avoid any coughing while recording. So now I'm just gonna move on to showing you the general info that I took down of the vehicle. So the Panzerkampfwagen 8 Mouse. Origin was in Germany, class was a super heavy tank produced in 1944. Two of them built, one was incomplete. I think it was designed roughly around 1944, I could be wrong. Had a crew of six, speed was 12 miles per hour at the most. Main armament was 128mm KWK 44L55 main gun. Had a secondary arm of a 75mm KWK 44L36.5 uh, right, mounted right next to the main gun right here. So you had a, still a lower caliber but still a high caliber gun. And then you had a 7.92mm machine gun, <clears throat> which would have been mounted, got where, I think it was mounted on this side of the mantlet, if I remember correctly. But, um, yeah, that's the mouse. I, someone had requested that I build a mouse, and I'm assuming they had already seen my older mouse build, so I just wanted to actually update the mouse anyway, because this design I've had sitting around for a while, actually. Um, and I just figured, you know, this design looked, bad, looked better than the old one, so I wanted to, um, you know, finally put this out of there. I've had this sitting around for quite a few months now, a little bit long, actually maybe uh, maybe about a year actually. I don't know, I remember how long it was, probably over a year I probably had this design, but um, about, uh, you know, I just had it sitting around, I haven't bothered to touch it. I actually have, there's a creative server on Minecraft that I've been building on for the past while, where I've just been producing tanks, uh, you know, non-stop. I have plenty of different tank designs there, but I've made them for entirely different purposes. Um, I made them originally for a server where you can make them work, make the tanks move and everything. It was a MoveCraft server. If you don't know what MoveCraft is, look into it. It's a very cool plugin for a Minecraft server. But um, Anyway, I made them specifically so they could function, but I'm going to probably start trying to convert some of them into proper replicas for the YouTube channel, and therefore, from that point, start putting out more of those vehicles. Maybe I'll show you guys around in a little while. Uh, maybe I'll show you all of them. I, mm, I'm, I'm not sure how many tutorials I'm going to get out, 
it's been a while since I put a tutorial out, mainly because school started up, I had to get situated with that, and I, with my cold here, I, it's just been hard to try to um, get anything moving. But I'm gonna stop, you know, going on about everything else now. You're here for the tutorial, so without any further uh, hold up, let's get right to the build itself. Alright, so for layer one, we're gonna wanna have stone brick slabs. Uh, another brick stair, cobblestone slab, and stone slab. I've already started by placing down the left side tracks, so we're just going to go off of this. So you place two bottom slabs of stone brick down side by side, then in front of it do, tops, do two top slabs like that. Skip to the right three spaces and repeat what you've just done. And then we're going to do the road wheels, which I'll explain to you how to do in better detail here in a minute. I'll just kind of try to um, copy what I'm doing. <clears throat> Alright, so now we copy it onto this side. What am I doing? Alright, so what you're going to do as far as the road wheels, you can probably already see what you have to do. Start from the inside toward the front, do two stairs side by side, two side by side diagonally. Back space in the front of the tank, then behind it, skip a space, then on the second space, uh, reverse them and just repeat all the way backwards, like that. And you're going you're gonna to uh, duplicate that design two more times toward the back. Then we're going to take our stone brick slabs and we're just going to fill the whole bottom of the tracks up like this, all the way to the back of the row. Fill up both sides of the tracks. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our cobblestone slabs, do our tops, do three top slabs here, then another three top slabs behind it, jump to the rear of the tracks, do two top slabs of stone brick here, and then two top slabs here, then three top slabs of cobblestone in the middle right here. We're going to take our stone slabs, we're going to do top slabs all on the inside, and that's going to make the floor of our tank for the interior. Just like that, and with that, we are done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, let's move on to layer two. All right, so now moving into layer two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cobblestone blocks, our cobblestone stairs, and our cyan terracotta for the moment, and our stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, and our stone button. We'll just take them now. So we're going to start by taking our cobblestone blocks, we're going to do two here off the front, then two here, then three upside down uh, stairs of cobblestone in the middle. Then we're going to take our cyan terracotta and we're just going to run it on the edge here, all the way back to above the final road wheel. Do that on the opposite side as well, run it all the way to the back. Then we're going to take our stone brick stairs, do two here, two here, then three upside down cobblestone stairs in the center of them. Then what we can do is I'm just going to use world edit for this. We're just going to fill up the whole inside here with stone. We'll punch out what we don't need uh, later on. We're going to do the interior, but just fill up the whole inside. Then we're going to take our stone button, put a stone button here and a stone button here and oh wait I actually did the stairs wrong here in the back we're actually going to curve no I don't want to do that we're going to curve these outer ones here like this so you're going to want that little lip there so now we are done with the um, second layer of the mouse so now we're done with layer two very simple for the most part the mouse is simple it's not a whole very detailed exterior tank um, but it's once we hit the interior that things start getting detailed. So now we're done with the, um, now we're done with layer two, let's move on to layer three. All right, so moving on to layer two, what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna take our cobblestone slabs and we're just going to do a row of seven across here, bottom slabs on that front of the tank. Then we're gonna take our cobblestone blocks, put one here, uh, then three here in the middle, then one here in the end. Put a stone slab here and a stone slab here. Then we're going to take our cyan terracotta and we're going to run it all the way back to about here. 
do that on the left side as well, run it all the way back. <coughs> We're gonna take our cobblestone stairs, put one here and one here. Just gotta make sure I'm doing everything correct. Okay, then we're just going to do cobblestone blocks, a row of five right here on the inside. Then we're going to take our cobblestone stairs, do a row of five upside down stairs like this um, on the rear. Now this is only if you want the fuel tank. If you're going to be adding the fuel tank on the back, then you can have this. If you don't, then just make all of these blocks here just um, normal stone uh, cobblestone stairs. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be doing the fuel tank anyway, so I'm just going to go about it the way it's supposed to be. Now that we've done that, we can just fill the hole inside up with stone. Set stone. Then we're going to take our stone buttons and put a stone button here and a stone button here. <coughs> then we're going to take our cobblestone. Actually, wait. What am I doing? I have to make, um, I'm accidentally jumping to the next layer. Am I done with layer two? I think I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so never mind. I mean, not layer two, layer three. All right, so with that, we're actually done layer three. So now we're done with layer three. Let's move on to layer four. All right, so moving on to layer four, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to grab some flower pots. We're going to put a flower pot here and one here. Those are, going to be, those are going to represent the headlights. You don't need them if you don't want. If you feel it looks silly, then don't add them. Put a stone slab, uh, uh, put a cobblestone slab there, one here, and I think three in the middle. And a stone slab here and here. And then we're going to go diagonal inward, one here, here. Cobblestone slabs here and here. Get our nether brick slabs. We're going to do. Actually, wait, oh, I'm just seeing it in a different lighting. Okay, that's my mistake. Never mind. I'm seeing it in a different lighting. Alright, so it's actually going to be a third stone slab there. And then, what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to take our slabs. And we're going to do three slabs here. Then, we're going to take our cobblestone stairs, put a stair here, then one here, one here, then there. Make sure they're curved like that. Going to put a stair like this. Then one like this, here, 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 here. No, okay, not here, just the way it was before. Then we're gonna put a cobblestone slab behind these stairs. And then take our. No, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. I'm not sure if I'm missaying the names of these. I'm tired. I was, you know. Uh, never mind. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother trying to speak sense. So we're gonna put a uh, stone brick stair here, one stair here, put a cobblestone slab, no, stone brick slab there, and uh, stone brick slab here. Then we can take another brick, and then we're gonna do a row of three here, three here. Take our cobblestone stair, put a stair, I think we have to do a row of five here. Alright, so yes, five. Take our nether brick slabs. Do two here, two here. Cobblestone slabs in the center. At least it should be. No? No, okay. So I actually remove those. That's actually all nether brick. It's been a while since I pieced this thing together. So now we're gonna jump to the rear of the tank. We're gonna take our nether brick, and we're gonna do two here, one here. Uh, one in the middle, then two more here, like that. Put a cobblestone slab here and here, tie our cobblestone stairs, do a row of five on top of here, facing the back, then another row of five facing the front, and that'll finish off the fuel tank on the rear of the, the external fuel tank. We'll finish that off. Then we're going to take our cyan terracotta, we're going to do a row of seven across like this, and you're going to do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a 7x7 seven seven square. Actually, we can just leave those gone, so. Then we can just fill up the uh, inside of the turret for now with just stone.
Once we've done that, I think we're actually done with layer four. That's what appear we are. All right, so now that we're done with layer four, let's move on to layer five. All right, so moving on to layer five, we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cobblestone stairs. We're just going to do a row of seven here on top of the turret like that on the side, do that on the other side as well. And then we're going to take our cyan terracotta and do a row of five here in the back of the turret with a stone button in the center. Then we can fill up the turret with stone. I hate my mouse for the passion. There we go, we're gonna take our cobblestone stairs, do an upside down stair here and here, grab our cyan terracotta, do three within the center. Uh, do a cyan terracotta off the middle. What are you? All right, so we're just gonna take our cobblestone slabs, and from this point we're just gonna go forward with top slabs of cobblestone and then two off the front of the vehicle like that. We're going to take our cobblestone walls, do two here, and then we're going to take our spruce fence gate and do one like that at the front. We're going to go into our inventory, grab some iron bars, and on top of the stone brick stair, we're just going to go up one. We're just going to do it anyway for the sake of it now. Actually, uh, no, just wait. We'll just wait until the following there. So we're just going to go up one for now. Um, I think that's actually it. I don't think I'm missing anything as far as this layer is concerned. I think that's actually it. Yeah. Alright, so with that, we're actually done with layer five. So now we're done with layer five. We're just going to move on to the remaining layers of five and six just to make it you know, just to wrap it up. Alright, so let's move on. I just realized how bad I'm messing up with my, uh, with my dialogue right now. But, um, actually, no, this is going to be layer six that we're working on now. So we're going to do layer six and seven. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to start out by finishing off these antennas. So we're just going to go up two more iron bars anyway, just to make this simple for now. I'm just going to go up two more and that'll finish off the antennas. Then we're going to take some iron trap doors. We're going to put a trap door here, two trap doors here, and then one trap door here. We're going to put a cobblestone stair here in the center, and then one curved on either side on the front of the gun mat, on top of the gun mantlet. Going to put a stair like this, and like this, and to curve it toward the back and run, all, run it all the way toward the back like this. Just like that. Put three cyan terracotta here, and then we can just fill the whole top with cyan terracotta. I'm going to grab a flower pot. I'm going to put a flower pot right here. We're actually going to break this row of cyan blocks. I'm going to do three top slabs of stone brick right there. I'm going to take our stone buttons. I'm going to do two here, one here. And then we're going to take our stone pressure plates. We're going to put a pressure plate here and here. And with that, we are done with the exterior of the mouse. So now that we're done with the exterior of the mouse, we're going to move on to the interior. If you're not staying for the interior, thank you for staying as long as you did. And hopefully I, I, would, I, I would hope to see you again some other time in the future. But now for those of you that are going to be staying for the interior, let's move on. Alright, so to start off with making the interior, first I want to know what we have to punch out. So first I want to head into the uh, previous design. Okay, so I have to break forward like this, then underneath. I'll break back. It's going to be three. Be three long. Minus that. Actually, I don't even know how far back that goes, so I'll have to find out. I'll have to check that. Break out the walls basically. Okay. So if I go into here, I 
go down to the floor, going to break over three, it's going to go back like this, going to go forward like this, going to break the underneath part, going to break out the walls, like this, actually we think we can leave the stone there, I know it's just going to be cobblestone walls for here. I don't remember how far ahead I, that, that goes. So we head back into here and find out. Alright, so that's actually cyan. Cobblestone slabs, that should be blocks, whatever. Alright, so that's gonna be cyan terracotta right there. Two dispensers here. Cobblestone slab here. So it's gonna be a top slab. Get out, please. This is only the driver's compartment, so we have a little bit to do. So we're gonna grab our iron trap door, redstone comparator, iron pressure plate, switch, another brick fence. We're gonna grab our iron bars while we're at it. So let's head back to the other tank. So we're gonna do cobblestone walls like that. I'm gonna do three iron bars here. Put a switch here. Put, uh, I guess there it is. I'm going to put our iron trap door here. Our comparator, uh, like that. Pressure plate here. Another brick fence is like this, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember how it goes. I think it's like that. Go back in here. Alright, so I was close. Jungle wood planks, jungle wood slab, and jungle wood stair. I'm going to head back into here. I'm going to put a jungle wood block here with a slab in front of it. <coughs> and then a stair so right here. I just here. got interrupted a little bit, but um, now I'm going to try and hurry this up because now things are starting to pick up activity in my house. So you're basically done with the front of the tank now, so we're just going to close up that part. So now let me go into here so now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna break down to here just so I can see. I see. I see. Alright, so I'm here. It's gonna go down to the floor. I go forward one, two, until we hit stone and leave it. Just gonna go down, hit the floor, one, two, then leave it. Break out everything else. Roughly. Just gonna break that out for now. There's a lot that has to be done here. We have to break out a lot. Alright, so we can break out basically till we see the terracotta. No, there's a, there is no terracotta, so we just gotta place the four blocks here, I guess. Just think that's how much there is. Five, six to the front, so I actually have to break out to the front of the turret. Five, six to the front. Break down to the floor like that. I think I can break out the sides of the turret as well. Break out the whole walls. Break that out. Alright. I'll take my gamble. I think that's what it is. Down and what am I looking at? Huh? Where am I? What? Where is this going back to? Okay, so it's going to the far. All right. Alright, 
So I'm taking this back to the far rear anyway. Alright, so what I'm doing, because I understand, is I have to do that, then like that, then like that. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I think? I don't know. That's what it looks like I'm supposed to be doing, yeah. Yup, that's, that's about right. Okay, so from there, I would go to the side and basically just fill up the whole wall up till there. How far forward does this go? One, two, so about, okay. This just has to link, I'm guessing this has to link up. I, I, yeah, you know what, now I'm starting to get my ideas back now. I'm starting to get back where I was at. So this whole thing has to link up. The cobblestone walls have to link up all the way around. From the front walls that we put into the, from the cobblestone walls that we put in the front, they have to come all the way to the back. Link up here, then fill up the wall. I think the walls are just going to be the hardest part of everything. Alright, so now that we've done that, let me go back, see if I'm missing anything. Uh, I'm going to need my iron bars, because I didn't catch this. So we're going to go back. So we're going to do that. And like that. That's how that's supposed to go. Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, good. Our cobblestone stairs and our cobblestone slab. Stairs upside down like that. Slab in the center. I'm gonna do three, I mean six, nine top slabs here. Three, six, nine. Let's just keep going up three. We'll get it eventually. I'm gonna fix that. Put this here. Iron trap door. So it's gonna be like that. Trap doors on top of everything. Slab there, brick stair there. Okay, head back. I'm gonna put the commander's seat here. Stone slab there. Cover the whole rest of the platform in iron trap doors, just like that. And I think we're eventually going to reach the end of this torment. Head back. Stairs are gonna go like that up the side. No. Alright, so just one here, then the rest is top slabs. Head back in. Stair. Stair sideways, upside down. The rest is uh, slabs. We're getting there eventually, guys. Just hang in there. Uh, cobblestone stairs. Alright, that's the outside of the turret, so we don't have to worry about that. That's iron bars there. We're gonna have a cyan clay there, stair there, dispenser, fence gate. We'll put these in first. So, cyan terracotta there, dispenser, fence gate. Open that up. Another brick stair here. Break that block, iron bars. And now we all we have to do is put in the gun breach, I think. Alright, so, uh, the dispensers, two dispensers, on a uh, cobblestone wall, slab, and trap doors. Okay. Wait, let me just make sure. Okay. So, finally, you know, put the tail on the pony, so to speak. We're gonna put the cobblestone wall there, two dispensers. We're gonna take our Stone slab, put a slab there. Take our iron trap doors, do one here, one here, then one on top. And I think we're done. Nothing on the sides of the breach that I'm missing. No, no. Oh, we're missing the pressure plate, that's about it. So we're just going to seal up. I'm just going to seal this up now, because we don't need this open. So seal up the top of the tank. Head back to here. We're going to put the stone pressure plate there, seal it up, and with that, you have your new Panzerkampfwagen 8 mouse with interior. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. If you made it all the way through, thank you for staying with me then, if you did. 
Um, if you have any tanks that you wish to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to see them. Or you can join my uh, Discord server, which I'm destined to see any requests that you put down in there. Um, if you've noticed a lot of different changes to my video layouts lately, like uh, what if you've noticed that I changed up the videos, I just recently went through all of my historic, like all my old, um, all my old videos, and I re-changed the title to fit the actual time period they're supposed to be in, and I put them in their proper playlists. The audio is no different. If I say in those videos that, oh, this was in World War II, but really it was a Cold War thing, that doesn't change. It's just the title, so the title is going to speak for itself. But everything has now been put where they belong, and um, I'm going to start, you know, keeping an eye on what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, that's all i got to say. So I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Please uh, check out my Discord, uh, my Discord server. I'd love that. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.